A man came upon a wee lad one night who was crying. It was a cold winter night. What's the matter, son? The man said. The wee boy said, My daddy sent me to the shop to buy a loaf of bread, and I've lost the shilling he gave me, and I'm afraid to go home. And you know, that man took the child into the shop. He bought the bread for him. And the boy left saying, Mister, I just wish you were my daddy. And that guy said he walked the streets that night trying to find another boy who needed a shilling and a dad. Before we're able to give love, we must receive love. You know, years ago there was a wee girl in a children's home who behaved like a wild animal. The carers had written her off. One nurse believed there was hope for the child, but she visited her daily. And she, it was a long time before we last gave any indication that she was even aware of her presence. And the nurse persisted. She brought biscuits, she left them in her room. So the doctors eventually did notice a change. And you know, finally the day came when that hopeless case was released. That child was Annie Sullivan. Because of her experience as a child, that child was able to help others. It was Annie Sullivan who played a huge role in the life of Helen Keller. It was Annie Sullivan who saw potential in this wee blind, deaf, rebellious child. She loved her, she played with her, she prayed with her, she pushed her, she worked her, until Helen Keller became an inspiration for the entire world. But it began with the nurse, Annie Sullivan, then Helen Keller, and finally every person who's ever been influenced by the example. But I believe we've got to go back even further than that to the beginning when God first loved us. God made a statement on Calvary 2,000 years ago. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And that love had a profound effect on everyone, but especially on Nicodemus. That love was to change him and to change so many others down through the years of history. One rainy Sunday afternoon, a wee boy was bored. His dad wanted to watch the football in peace, so he decided to do something to keep the wee fella busy. He found the morning paper, a big coloured map of the world, and he took scissors and he cut it into a number of shapes like a jigsaw, and he said to the boy, see if you could put that puzzle together. He thought that'll keep him going for a wee while, and he settled down to watch the match. To his amazement, the boy was tapping his shoulder ten minutes later, telling him that the job was done. How did you do it? says Dad. It was easy, said the wee fella. There was a picture of a man on the other side, and when I got the man right, the world was right. John chapter 3 says how God planned to put the world right. And the plan was to put us right through the love for us. And only when we are right is there hope for this world. I want you to think of that this morning. What a great story of Nicodemus. It's taken me a few weeks to tell it, but eventually we've reached the end. And thank you for staying with me.